you know, I just couldn't tell you, you know, how proud I am of our players. Um, you know, one of our keys to victory was to, uh, you know, come out and uh, weather the storm in the first quarter. We knew the noise and, and uh, the chaos going on in the stadium was going to be something. And, and uh, you know, we knew we were going to go through adversity in the fourth quarter, and our guys stuck with it. Uh, again, we addressed it, you know, last night, today, about the, you know, the first quarter and just, you know, weathering it. Our guys got it done. Um, you know, I couldn't be proud of the perseverance, the adversity that our kids went through. And, and uh, um, you know, that's a good football team in there. Um, you know, and again, that was a good football team at Tennessee. That's a, that's a talented, athletic, runs fast. I mean, that D-line, um, you know, um, again, uh, they're a very good football team that we beat today. We didn't beat a bad football team. Uh, they will win a lot of games this year. Um, just so proud of our, our football team, both offense, defense, special teams. And again, we got a lot of things to clean up, but there was a ton of good plays. Uh, I think we ended up with three turnovers. We cleaned up last week's two turnovers. And, and, um, and again, you know, we had zero on offense and we're plus three. It's hard to lose a game. Uh, but like I said, it's a good football team. Questions? Pat, what did you learn from your team uh, to respond to that early? Good morning in progress. And, you know, overcoming all that. I'm sorry, I got a hard time hearing you. Say it again. What did you like from your team responding to that block punt earlier, um, you know, kind of overcoming the noise and uh, just a lot of bad plays in the first quarter? Yeah, I mean, it was, the, the you know, the, the chaos out there. And, again, give, give uh, you know, their fans, you know, credit for early. Uh, our guys didn't respond well enough uh, early in the first quarter. Again, we, you know, we knew that, you know, stuff like that would happen. And, again, that's the adversity. That's the, you know, the fourth, you know, the first quarter, you know, storm that we talked about that's going to gonna happen. And, um, you know, we just missed a missed a block on that first one. I mean, we got our hands on the guy, but just wasn't, you know, full effort. You know, we'll look at the videotape, but, uh, you know, hey, that's the game of football. And, and again, it's all about ups and downs in a football game. And our guys responded and, uh, you know, we gave up a short TD there. Um, and uh, with two yard, t you know, touchdown drive, uh, which is a gimme. Guys, you know, five red zone touchdowns, four of them were on third or fourth down. Uh, that aspect of your team in the past has been so hit or miss. I mean, how important was that to be able to come back last day? You know, I don't, I don't know what we were on fourth down, but, you know, our offense did a heck of a job. I mean, uh, we had the ball for 36 minutes in those fourth, you know, um, you know, I don't have it on here, but the, you know, the third and fourth down conversions, you know, our guys, you know, we've worked a lot in the off season. We talked about, you know, just, you know, having an opportunity, you know, and taking four downs when we cross that 50 and we're going to take advantage of it. Uh, I trust the ball when it's in Kenny's hands, whether it's a run, a pass, him scrambling for a first down, uh, but our guys made plays and, um, you know, it wasn't always pretty, but our guys made plays. I guess EJ's telling me two for two on fourth down. So, uh, again, a heck of a job and that keeps drives alive and, uh, and, and won the football game for us. Questions? No questions? No, wait, they, they've got a, they got a break in the oh. same. Oh. Why are we, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but why are we Zooming? Um, I have no idea. I'd like to see all your pretty faces down here. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but. They don't have internet in Knoxville. Okay. Who are media, you're saying? Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's 2021. Here we go. Okay, I think we got you now. Hey, one other thing I want to mention is is uh, I wish Johnny Majors was here to see what happened today because I know he's he was you know he was wearing the blue and the gold up in the, the press box up above and he would have been happy with what he saw today. Questions? Hey, coach, it's Chris Idell for Bridgeton Radio in Baltimore. Congratulations on the big win down there. 
Uh, talk about uh, Pickett's performance today. He looked like he was poised and he was ready. He looked like that pro quarterback you see all the time. Yeah, I mean, Kenny's a football player now. I mean, I trust, you know, trust in K KP. Um, you know, just, a, you know, he had a heck of a day. We'll go back and watch the tape, and I'm sure there's some throws he missed like every quarterback. Um, but, I mean, you know, that fourth down scramble he had, he put his shoulder down. I mean, he's just a football player, and he knows he knows what to do on the field, and and uh, our guys rally around Kenny Pickett. Ed, you seem to be used to Kenny, you know, coming up big and being a consistent guy, but what was consistent with him today is, your receivers and tight ends were catching the ball even in really tough situations. Can you talk about their their performance? Uh, you know, that was a problem that you guys last had last year, but not on the road. Yeah. In this I, situation. Yeah, Chris, you know, again, credit, you know, those receivers for sitting out on the jugs all day. I mean, there were some times at 10 o'clock at night, the receivers were asking if they could go outside in the dark and catch jugs. Uh, but again, credit Brendan Marion for, you know, coaching them up and, and uh, just working on you know their ability to catch the ball consistently, and that's what they, they did today. I mean, Taysier Mack had some tremendous catches. That one fade ball, he went up and got it and high pointed the ball. It was a heck of a heck of a catch. And you know, Jordan Addison had some unbelievable catches as well. And you know, you know, our tailbacks out of the backfield caught some hitches out there in, in some empty formations. So the guys caught the ball and, and made plays for Kenny. That uh, game came alive just a little bit at the end of the game. Put it away. How the offensive line uh, played from what you? I tell you what, the, the offensive line played a heck of a game. Again, you know, if you guys, you know, were on the field, which I don't know if any were, I mean, you look at that defensive line that we were blocking today. That was a big time defensive line. Now, uh, they are talented. Their D tackles are talented. Um, but you know, I think an offensive line always gets graded by what they do in a in a uh, in a four minute uh, offense. When they, I think they got the ball with three minutes, three and a half minutes to go, and and grounded out and ended up in that, that victory formation, and that's what we like to end in. So um, you know, it, it ends and starts starts and ends right there uh, with that victory formation. Uh, how long did you have that trick play in the back pocket, and how did you guys decide to come to use that today? You know, Coach Whips had that one in his back pocket for a while. Um, that was the Panther special, wasn't the Pitt special, it was the Panther special. Um, but, uh, you know, they've had that, and Jared Wayne, you know, got a great arm. And, uh, and we've got some other ones uh, to, to go with that. Hey, you know, 34 points, but you got uh, two big stops at the end of the game, uh, the fourth down stop and the, and the turnover. Just how about your defense overall and, and how you felt like it played? You know what, that fourth down goal line stand, I mean, you talk about play of the game and then, you know, Brandon Hill's pick at the end and, um, you know, they are athletic. I mean, those receivers can run. I mean, in that first quarter, I didn't know if we could catch them, um, but, um, you know, they, they, couldn't, they couldn't connect on some deep balls. And, um, uh, again, you know, a ton of talent out there. But, you know, I thought the defense played solid. You know, not what we want to. Um, again, we gave them a two-yard touchdown drive early. I think they had 14 early. We missed a tackle on a quick now route uh, when Hooker came in the game. I mean, um, and then, you know, some quarterback draws hurt us, um, which, you know, they're spreading you out. you got to cover four receivers, and then they're running, you know, quarterback lead draw, which is not easy to, to defend. And um, I thought they did solid. I know there's a lot of stuff we can clean up. Hey, Coach, uh, this is Chris Ayo again from Herbson Radio. Talk about Hooker coming in. You saw him last year at Virginia Tech. Is he a lot different than last year? Yeah, he is. I, you know, I, I thought he was. He did a nice job. I, I saw him after the game and said, hey, you know, are you done? I mean, I think him and Kenny have been around longer than anybody. Um, but I didn't think we'd see Hooker again after, you know, Virginia Tech last year, and all of a sudden we saw him again. So um, I think he's petitioned for another year. But, you know, those guys, those guys played well over there on that side of the ball and, and uh, give them credit for making plays. I'm guessing you have a lot of faith in your kicker to try a 56-yard field goal today. Yeah, I mean, Ben Saul's got the leg now. You know, we'll go back and look at the tape and see what happened, whether it was, you know, uh, he kicked laces or whatever. But that was not pretty. And uh, luckily, we had a chance to go ahead and punt that ball, and then Kirk put it down at the one. So uh, we, we dodged that bullet. Hey, what did you think out of Brandon Hill and your safeties? Uh, there they were some open guys early, but at the end of the game, Brandon Hill was there to seal it with an interception. Yeah, that was a big-time play by him. You know, he kind of had a late hit out of bounds. I thought he pushed him before he got out of bounds. Um, um, but, you know, the receiver took a big fall, and, and uh, so I, I think that was a gimme there. Um, you know, it was a push, and again, I think he left his feet before the guy was out of bounds, but, you know, he, you know, he, he almost cost us there. We had a fourth down stop, and, and, uh, and then he comes and gets a pick six, or a pick, pick, you know, interception, you know, to seal the deal. Uh, what can you say about Kenny's poise and how he operated the offense within the red zone specifically? Yeah, I mean, Kenny, you know, Kenny's been poised. I mean, that's, that's you know, and again, you know, he's taking a step up from last year. He's, he's poised. He's, 
He's athletic, uh, and he's a leader, and that's the thing. I mean, you just watch how, you know, how poised he is out there with the team. He leads them in the huddle. Uh, he gets every ounce of uh, our guys when he's out there. He's a leader. Uh, did you think that Vincent Davis was your, your best option for short yard situations? And, and, I mean, what did you feel like he was doing to get – uh, yeah, double 19 carries. Yeah, I mean, Vince, Vince runs his tail off, and Izzy had a nice game as well. But, you know, we talked about it Thursday right before I met with you guys, like who is your short yardage back? Who's the guy you're going with? And you know, without any hesitation, Coach Powell and Coach Whipple said, Vince Davis, we're going with that guy in short yardage because I wanted to make sure we knew who he was who we were going to put in that game uh, in those those critical situations. So, you know, Vince ran hard, Izzy ran hard, and, and uh, I'm, I'm awful proud of the, the offensive line blocking for him. Anything final before we get to players? Anything final before we get to players? Thank you very much. All right, guys, hail to pit.